Hello everyone, this is Moses from Zotter Gardens. In this video I'm going to be talking about my Mexico avocado. A great variety, especially if you live in California. Even if it frosts, this tree seems to just thrive. I'm going to be talking more about this right now. Okay, let me begin with the issues that I have experienced growing this avocado tree. The Mexico avocado. One issue is compared to the other avocados I have or have grown, you have to really whitewash all the branches. It doesn't really like the heat so much. It doesn't mind the cold. It's gone down to 26 degrees here. That night I didn't protect this tree at all and it didn't even phase it at all. No leaf burn, nothing. When it's fruiting, as you can see right here, the baby avocados, it tends to do a lot of leaf drop. So that's why it may look a little raggedy right now. So that's okay. And it'll just flush out new growth like you see right here on the tip. Another issue about the Mexico avocado, it is an issue for me, especially that it has a bit of sun scald issue on the bark. It's not that vigorous of a grower. I really wish it could grow a little bit faster so it can make a great canopy so it can give enough shade to its own bark tissue. The really interesting thing about this variety compared to my other avocado variety is that this variety doesn't seem to want that much water as much as the other ones that I've grown and currently grow. There hasn't been really any insect issue on this avocado um, other than just normal caterpillar here and there or a slug, but it really didn't do much damage. The things I love about this variety of avocado is its cold tolerance and the fruit is extremely delicious. The fruit tastes better than Haas, in my opinion. They're small, edible skin, and full of oil. They have a nutty taste to them as well. Now back to the growth habits. Uh, like I said, it's not so vigorous. It doesn't mind to be in part shade, it seems like, or full sun, but when you get to the July or August weather, it can really stunt the growth of this uh, tree variety. Now this tree used to be about 10 feet tall and I cut it back severely as you can see here and other spots because I didn't want a really tall and narrow tree. I wanted to provide more canopy cover for the sun scald and that's where you got this growth now. And now this will grow out and create more shade for the internal limbs. I'm gonna be loving all the avocados this tree is gonna produce for me this year. And happy gardening, everyone. Okay, like, share, subscribe, and...